Hi. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Good, good to see you. Good to see you too. All right, guys. So this is the last week. This is week number four already. And we're finishing. All right. So that's very good. ¿Cómo van con la plataforma hasta ahorita? Necesito reportes. Miren que todos los días pensamos que es sábado y sábado. Es... <laughs> Pero... <laughs> so I'm one person teacher in my case. Yeah. And I have to work. Yeah, really? Yes, every, every day. Every day, Elizabeth. Yes. Okay, so you have Some no one stop? person, they have vacation. In my case, it's different. Okay, all right. Okay. Just be careful, Elizabeth, okay? Yes, be careful. I used to. Mascarilla? Yeah, you use a mask. Ah, I use to mask. And, and gloves. And gloves. Okay. And, and alcohol. <laughs> yes, all right. Very good. Mm -hmm. all I right. used to any anything. Yeah, okay. Very good. All right. Okay. So, Jose, cuénteme, ¿cómo va con la plataforma? ¿Por cuál va Jose Rodríguez? Almost, teacher. I, I am in the 5.5. Excellent. Very good. All right. What about? Yes. Yeah, very good. What about Walter? What number? Which uh, section are you working on? And number five, teacher. And Excellent. I almost finished. Very good. Rocio, what about you? I am working in number three in the ma in the half of okay of number three. Oh, okay. All right. What mm -hmm. about what about Elizabeth? I am going to number three. You're going to start? No, no, no. Ah, you're finishing. A three point. Let me check. Okay, but three point three. something. Okay. Three point Very good. something. Okay, and Lisette Padilla, which uh, exercise or which section have you, section have you finished? Lisette, Lisette. No? All right, okay. Okay, guys, so very good. I, I mean, congratulations for Jose and Walter, all right? And Rocio and Elizabeth, good job. Keep working, okay, and you're going to do fine. Today, I believe that you received an, uh, a message from... Uh, Jonathan, about that you have to finish by Friday, okay? So make sure that you finish everything before Friday or by Friday. Friday is the last day, okay? So make sure that you do that, yeah? Everybody, you understand, yes? Hola. Oh my goodness, ¿y qué les ha pasado? This Friday is closed. Yeah, this Friday is the last day. I mean, okay. with me, it's Thursday. But just for you on mm -hmm. the platform, it's Friday. Hi, Noe. Hi, good evening. Good evening, so nice to see you. Hi, me too. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, reportese, Noe, por donde va la plataforma. Me quedé en el 3.4. Okay. Que le pedí ayuda la, la vez pasada, me pidieron, me, me mandaron un mensaje que, ay, le voy a mandar ayuda, y le volví a decir al muchacho que me echaran la mano más o menos con, ah, sí, pero vaya a la plataforma porque ya muchos compañeros ya se los corregimos, pero no me ayudaron en nada, o sea, no sirven de nada. Ok, no, okay. <ríe> ya le vamos a ayudar ahí. Anita, ¿usted cómo va en la plataforma? Hello. Hi, Ana. Cuéntenos, Hi. estamos ahorita reportando cómo vamos en la plataforma. Mm, bueno, eh, creo que voy por el 3.4, creo. No me acuerdo, okay. no me acuerdo. Creo que Pero... los niños van ganando porque los niños ya van por las 5. Yes. Hijo, wow. Oh, oh, my God. Need to copy. el primer día. Terminó todo. Yo creo que ya está por el avanzado 3. 
Sí. All right. Bueno, pero sigamos entonces. Solo recordarles igual que este, esta es la última semana. This is the very, very last week of this course. All right. So the last class with me is Thursday. And then the last day for you is Friday. Okay. Y luego eh, entendería yo que entramos a una pausa. No sé realmente si vamos a continuar después de vacación de Semana Santa. <risa> eh, o oh, no sé cuál es, todavía no me han dado a mí ese lineamiento, entonces por, eh, de hecho no, no, no podría decirles ahorita cómo vamos a seguir. All right, pero ustedes estén pendiente tanto de WhatsApp como de correos, ¿verdad? Para, para, para estar al tanto. Sí, sí. All right, okay. very good. Okay, guys. Uh, hi, Mary. How are you? Mary, Mary. Hi. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. Excellent. All right. Okay. So let's let's begin now. We're going to talk. We're going to keep on working on section four. We're going to talk today about past perfect. So as always, I have a presentation for you. So I'm going to show it to you right now. I actually have two. They are very much alike, but we are going to look at both um, eh, presentations and then we're going to do some exercises. Okay. So here we have, guys, I'm gonna show you this one. Oops, that's the end. No, that's not, this is not what I want. Oh no, what happened? Oh, es que como no me entro. <laughs> Le dio virus, no mando el virus. Niña, <laughs> don't say that. Mm, sorry. <laughs> Ay, re, reí por no llorar. Ay, me imagino. Uh -huh. Yeah, porque me voy a poner a llorar con usted. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, ok, hoy sí. Ya ves que este no en mí me desconcentra. Qué barbaridad. No. <laughs> All right, so here we go, guys. This is the one that we're going to see right now. Um, here. Ok, there you go. The past perfect tense, okay? So this is the topic, I think it is 4.8 about that. It's four point something. All right, so the past perfect tense, what is this tense and when do we use it in English, okay? So we're gonna talk a little bit about what is it and we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, when to use it, okay? I know this is, not, this is not new for you. You have done this before. You understand past perfect, but it's like a review, all right, that we need to make just for you to make sure that you understand it, okay? So here we go. Um, we're gonna, there you go. The meaning of past perfect, number one, the use. Jose Rodriguez, can you read please? Jose Rodriguez, can you read? Can you hear me, Jose, Jose, Jose? Okay, right now. Yes, thank you. The past perfect express the idea that something occurred before another action in the past. Mm -hmm. It can it can also show that something happened before a specific time in the past. Okay, thank you. So says use number one is completed action before something in the past. So if you see the scheme or if you see the um, the uh, picture that we have here, we have past but something happened on the past. So it's like the past in the past, all right? And then we have the present and then we have the future. As Jose read, it says the past perfect expresses the idea that something occurred before another action in the past, okay? Remember that simple past is an action that began and finished. But in this case, we're talking about something occurred before another action. So I, I want you to see this, the past perfect as the past within the past, okay? So if this is my past, my past perfect is inside the past, okay? And then it says it can also show that something happened before a specific time in the past, okay? And then we're gonna go on with the other one here. No, pues yo esto. There you go. Examples. Let's see. Noe, can you read example number one? Use one. Okay. Example. Use one. Complete action before sometime 
something in the past. Okay. She only understood the movie, movie because she has read the book. She has read the book. Yeah. Uh -huh. Two. I have never seen some seen such 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 mm -hmm. a beautiful sunset before I went to Hawaii. Very good. So use number one completed actions before something in the past. All right. So we say she only understood the movie because she had read the book before. All right. Number two, I had never seen such a beautiful sunset before I went to Hawaii. All right. Eh, solo voy a volver, voy a poner los micrófonos apagados porque eh, se oye ahí como un ruido en la casa de alguien. All right. Okay. So let's continue here. Then it says, um, yeah, la la. All right. Here we have meaning of past perfect. And I did, can you read please? Ana? <laughs> you Thank too. you. Uh -huh. Duration before something in the past. Mm -hmm. We can also use the past perfect to show that something started in the past and continued up until another action in the past. Okay, very good. So as you see the diagram or the scheme that we have here, something began in the past, but it moved. It did not finish. That is the difference between simple past and past perfect. The simple past, it began and finished, but this one began in the past and it kept and it continued in the past until another action happened. All right. So let's look at examples. All right. We have here. Um, Walter, can you read use number two? Walter? No. Mary, can you read number two? Yes, they had uh, they had been married for five years when they had their first child. They had been married for five years when they had their first child. All right, that's example number two. Walter, okay, thank you. Can you read example number one, Walter? Okay, teacher. Uh, we had owned our car for ten years before it finally died. Okay, we had owned our car for 10 years before it finally died, all right? So duration before something in the past. Then go. let's go on here. Then we have uh, David Rivas, can you read meaning of past perfect, please? Okay. Uh, specific times with the past perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, unlike. Unlike. Unlike mm -hmm. with the present perfect tense, it is possible to use a specific time word or phrases with the past perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, although, although, uh -huh. although this is possible, it is usually not, not necessary. necessary. Very good. All right, let's continue here. So we have uh, Rocio, can you read a specific times? Okay, example, uh, specific times. Often you can use the simple past or the past perfect. Okay, uh, past perfect, can you uh, read that one? Past perfect, yes. She had visited the US once in 2000, before she moved here in 2005. All right. I'm going to move the other one here so uh, you can read it. Pass. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm going to read, uh, move this. Okay. Wow, I cannot move it today. Oh, there you go. Uh -huh. um, I'm going well, to You try. cannot really see it. You go. Oh, yeah. Okay. To, um, she visited. She visited the U.S. once. U.S. once in 2000 before she, she moved. 
She moved oh, here. I, I, she she moved, moved in 2005. Moved here. All right. Yes, in, the, in, in both yes, mm -hmm. in both sentences, you're saying pretty much the same. All right, so that's why it says that often you can use simple past or the past perfect, like these examples. She had visited the U.S. once in two thousand, uh, in two thousand before she moved here in two thousand five. Or you can say. She visited the U.S. once in 2000 before she moved here in 2005. All right, so sometimes we can use either or, but other times you are really, really being very specific when to use which tense, either past perfect or simple past, okay? Past perfect tense, let's see, Lisette Padilla, can you read? Yes, teacher. Past perfect tense. How do we make the present perfect tense in English? Can you think of the grammar rules he had already left when she called? Okay. Called. Called, yes. All right. Now, what what is structure, guys, we use for the past perfect? Can anybody tell me? You know this already. So we know the structure. All right. So what do we use? How do we make it? volunteers to tell me how do we make a past perfect sentence yes noe uh-huh in, in the past sentence the, the past change perfect. Mm -hmm. um he what are we gonna use the subject and after the subject what do we what do we use yes Hard. Teacher, because we use the auxiliary have. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. This is the different, this is the different with, the, with the past and the past perfect. Okay. All right. Uh huh. Continue. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Uh, Noemi, what else were you going to say? Okay. Ya que adelantó Lizette, porque ahorita no. No, 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 no. Me he bloqueado. Okay, el hamster is the, the, the structure. <laughs> no, that's okay. Yes, David. Uh, I think <laughs> the structure is a uh, subject plus mm -hmm. had. Yes. Had plus uh, uh, the very past participle Excellent. plus complement. Excellent. Very good. Just like Noe was, uh, she was saying, and also Lisette was okay. saying it. Very good. So remember that we need to use subject plus the auxiliary had for everybody. For he, for she, for it, for we, for I, for you, for everybody. All right? The PP of the verb or the past participle. All right? So in that sense, you need to study your verbs in case you don't know them yet. Pero a esta altura creo que sí. All right? So here we go. This grammar has two parts. Had plus verb past participle. Use had for all subjects, for I, for you, for we, for they, for everybody, okay? So I said, Jose had seen this movie before. Or I say, Ana had visited uh, Spain two times before the accident, all right? Or Mary had studied English, all right? So who, for whomever you use, uh, the auxiliary you need you need to use had plus the verb in past participle those are the only i mean that's the only thing that you can do of course when we talk about positive sentences i say i had done this before all right now in negative then you have to use not i hadn't done this before all right, or if you're gonna ask a question, have you done this before? All right, so it's a little bit like that. But right now we're just uh, talking about, um, there you go, we have, we're talking about negative forms here. Uh, uh, we have, uh, Walter, can you read this please? Negative form. Okay, teacher. Uh, have not plus verb plus uh, plus participle. Right. Or hadn't plus verb in past participle. All right, the example? E example, the teacher hadn't finished correct, correcting papers when the students 
started to arrive. All right. If you notice, usually we use the past perfect with simple past. Because remember, it's an action within a, it's a past action within another past action. All right. Okay, let's go on here. More practice. Are you guys ready? Ready, ready? Yes, okay. You better be here. <laughs> ah, no, pero no vean. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to stop sharing this. Okay. Hi, Adriana. No vi cuando entró Adri. Sorry, no le había dicho hola. <laughs> All right. Okay, so here we go. Before we practice, I want to show you this one, which is exactly um, another presentation, which is pretty much the same, but it's just um, a little bit different, or the explanation is a little bit different. So we have here, oops, it's not working again. Noemi, usted algo hace cuando usted entra, Noe. <laughs> Hold on, guys, because uh, my presentation is stuck. No, okay. No, usted hace destrozos cuando viene. I cannot open my presentation, Noemi. This is all your fault. Y solo se ríe. Yo no tengo culpa, teacher. I know you, you're not, but I'm going to blame you anyway. Hay que echarle la culpa a alguien. Good morning, no. A ver qué le pasó al señor. No lo he visto. O ha entrado. No, no. va. Mm -mm. Creo que no. Yo no lo he visto. Creo que voy, 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 voy. Veamos ahora. A ver. There we go. Ok. Okay, so we have here this, guys. No, ya ve que algo le pasa a mi cosita esta. Oh, there you go. Okay, so let's see. Um, eh, Adri, ya que entró. Adri, can you, can you read this? Yes, teacher. I had eaten my breakfast before I went to school. All right, very good. If you notice, we're combining both tenses. I had eaten and then went to school, all right? I had eaten breakfast before I went to school. How do we use the past perfect tense? The past perfect tense expresses actions in the past before another action in the past. This is the past in the past. Do you understand that? O sea, que el pasado perfecto es más pasado que el pasado simple. Okay. All right? So the train left at 9 a.m. We arrived at 9.15. When we arrived, the train had left. All right, so something happened before. Que llegáramos. According to my sentence and my example, the train left at 9 a.m. We arrived at 9.15. When we arrived, the train had left. What was the first action? We arriving or the train leaving? The train leaving. The train that's leaving. right. Yeah, that's what that's what happened first. Okay, very good. Then this is the same thing. The Titanic had received many warnings before it hit the iceberg. All right. So had received or had eaten on the other example that we have here. They happened before. All right, something else. So I had already eaten when my friend stopped, uh, stopped by to visit, okay? So first, what happened first? The Titanic received many warnings or it hit the iceberg? What happened first? They received many warnings. All right, and what about on the other sentence? I had already eaten when my friend stopped by to visit me or to visit. What happened first? Uh, I had already eaten. Okay, very good. So we understand that. To talk about past actions that ended before another action or time in the past, we use before and after. We use the simple past too. The film had started before we arrived. We also use the past perfect to show the cause or past. Uh, oh, sorry, the cause of a past action. I was tired on Monday. 
because I hadn't slept well the night before. So that tells you the cause of the past action. With time expressions, such as when, after, before, as soon as, by the time, by, and until. All right, so we can use those time expressions. By the time I got home, my mother had already All right, so that, that's, that's, um, that's what I wanted to show you both presentations, because in, an, in this one, we have a little bit of like other explanation than the, than the previous one, okay? Let me see here. How do we use the past perfect tense? The past perfect tense expresses act. No, estoy a solo leí, niños. Ni que voy al revés. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Okay. He came to my house. That's a simple past tense. I had already left the past perfect tense. So we join it together by using, in this case, we can use time expressions. He came to my house after I had already left, okay? Simple past tense, he came to my house after I had already left is the past perfect, okay? Of course, you know that, that's not new for you. This action takes place back in the past. Por eso les digo que el pasado perfecto es aún más pasado que el pasado simple, all right? Let's see. Okay. All right. Can you read this? Um, who wants to read this? Mary, can you read this, please? Okay. Uh, after he had taken his music lesson, he made a telephone call. All right. Okay. Something is happening with this thing. Okay, now it's okay. There we go. Another example that we have here. All right, Jose Rodriguez, can you read it, please? Okay. Ali had repaired his car before he went Fishing. Okay, can you now read the question and answer the question? What had Ali done before he went fishing? Uh huh. What had Ali done before he went fishing, Jose? Uh, to repair his car. He had repaired his car. All right, very good. So here we have, whoops. Here we have this one's the keywords of these tense are after or as soon as had and the past participle. All right. And then you use the other sentence to connect the two, the whole action here with between the uh, past perfect and the simple past by doing using a comma or by using something else that you might need. So you can express full things. After I had finished work, I watched TV, all right? Make similar sentences using after and before. So this is what I want you to do right now. I want you to go to your groups. I'm gonna send you to your groups and I want you to make sentences, in this case, using after and before, but also using both tenses, past perfect and simple past. You may follow this example. So if you want, you, take, you can take a picture or a screenshot so you know what to do. Ready? Okay. How many sentences you're gonna make? Let's make four sentences. Okay, finished? Okay. Yes. Okay, take a, take a picture of this one too, please. All right, make similar sentences. Again, another uh, three or four sentences. Make similar sentences. Okay, this I go back. Is another one. This is another one, Walter. Okay. You want me to go back to the first one? Uh, no, yes, the please. first one is okay. Okay, who said yes, please? Me. 
All right, I'm going to go back to the first one here. Las cuatro que sean relacionadas. Sí, o sea, you have to use after and before, just like the example, eh, Noe. Okay. Hasta con efectos le he puesto ahora ah, ahí. Claro, of course. Espéreme, espéreme que... Está chido. <laughs> y pensé que no lo oí. <laughs> espéreme, dicen, by the time. By the time, as soon as, and as soon as the same thing. All right, hold on. Espéreme. Ok, de, dejémoslo ahí. So, van a ser four sentences with after and before, and another four sentence with uh, by the time and as soon as. Era la otra, ¿verdad? Guys? What? Yes. Yeah, right? Like both examples, Noe. Two. After yeah, and before. You, after and before is one. And the other one, what was it? By the time. By the time, right? And as soon as. And as soon as. Uh -huh. So that what I want you to do right now, you're going to go to your groups and you're going to make sentences. For the first example, I want you to make between three and four sentences. And for the second example, the same. I want you to make three or four sentences. I want, I want you to relate the sentences, just like the examples that we were watching, okay? All right, guys, hello. Les ha caído mala cuarentena. Hello. All right. Chair. Hola. Eh, Podría poner eh, nuevamente el de oh. by the time. Yeah, of course. Ese no, no lo copié por ahorita. Right now. Pero me voy a cerrar los grupos porque si no. This one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Finished? All right, so I'm going to send you right now to <laughs> I'm going to start working on the assignment. Ay, se me perdió. There you go, guys. Sí, you may click. De todas maneras. Ajá, en el grupo. Sí, gracias. Lisette? In a special uh, requestment. Hi. Hi, Norma. Hi, teacher. How are you? I I fine. Okay. Only I need to work in these days. Oh, really? Yes, because uh, the company uh, participate for the initiative in the United States with um, a group for. Uh, textile facilities and okay. we need to to um, to um, building a mask oh. to share at the, at the United States okay for the reason we need to work yeah of course. That the last Wednesday 
in oh. the weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I was thinking, what, where's Normita? Yeah. You, you sound you sound tired, Norma. Yeah, because yeah. the the project is new. The people not never make that product, and mm. we need to train in all the people to in the new method in the new product, and okay. we need to send the first dozen and for that the next uh, Wednesday. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. So you work in you work in a textile company, Norma? Yes. In Fruit of the Loom. Oh, all right. And all right, okay. So you have to travel. Yes. From Expo Salva Friso mm -hmm. to Santa Ana. Right. And what about Santa Ana? How's everything in there with the uh, the virus? Yes, but uh uh, and a specific song. Mm -hmm. Okay. Today I don't know what to to, to make him because uh, people uh, out of of the houses and yeah. make to the scenario. I know it's because of the money that yeah. they did not receive, so everybody went to the streets. Uh -huh. But yeah. the people not not consider the risk. I know. I know that action. Of course, I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. All right. What about Lisette? How are you doing, Lisette? Um, I working. I was working at the clinic. Yeah. They it, is a few people go to the clinic. All right. Went to the clinic. Yeah, but it's tired. We have to clean for each. Passion. Yeah. And uh, and then when I went to my house, mm -hmm. keep up the shoes, the I clothes, know, I take know. a shower, I don't do anything. Right. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. My goodness, eh? But you're here in San Salvador, right, Lisette? No, I am living. In La Herradura, La Paz. Okay. All right. Okay. I live a little far to the yeah. city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Norma and Lisa, I mean, everybody has to keep safe, but I mean, Norma is in, a, in Santa Ana, and Lisa, you're a doctor, so it's kind of like very difficult for you too. Yes, but, but Santa Ana... People had to to case. Uh, no sé, no sé cómo decirlo en, en, en inglés, Ajá. pero es como que medio tenso. Sí. Medio tenso saber que, que personas han estado contagiadas ahí y saber con quiénes han tenido contacto. Pues claro. Yeah. But all the people had a, a contact, con, contagio in out the, the city because all the people. Eh, Travel in, uh, for the, I don't know what to say, Punto Ciego. For I don't, the, I don't the know. <laughs> blind point. Uh, the blind <laughs> point, but I don't know if that's <laughs> the correct <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah. okay. This person uh, was for that reason in one family because one one guy working in Avianca. Oh, really? Yeah. And he and the father uh, was uh, uh, contagious. Con what to say, contagious? If they were, they got. I mean, I don't know, contagious. I don't know, contaminated. I don't know. Oh my goodness! <laughs> uh, yeah, that that people. Uh, Ellos son los que están enfermos. Sí. El, oh. Como que el muchacho enfermó al papá. Y fue a los dos que vinieron a traer. Y vive y, cerca de usted. No, viven frente Ay. a la universidad. Eh, la única es la salida por la calle vieja de Santa Ana. Mm. Pero ese día la ciudad andaba alborotada. Me imagino, no, Norma. Y, y ha de ser bien difícil porque, o sea, la gente lo, lo discrimina, lo hace a un lado, no te lo tocar. 
O sea, hacer bien y culparlos a ellos uh -huh. por el resto de la población. Sí. sí. Y en ese caso el muchacho estaba afuera o él estaba, él estaba aquí. Es que fíjese que yo, esa, eso me lo dijo a mí una persona un día en una plática en un súper. Uh -huh. Me dijo, la señora se quejó y me dice, estoy molesta, me dijo, porque me estoy enterando que todos los sobrecargos de TACA y las hermosas que están viniendo de vuelos de Europa no han quedado en cuarentena, mm. los han mandado a cuarentena domiciliar. Pero eso en nuestro país es bien difícil que va a tener usted un policía allá afuera para que vigile <risa> usted, o para claro. que vigile que nadie llegue a su casa a visitar. Mm -hmm. Exacto. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, la señora estaba bien molesta y mira, tenía razón. Porque sí. se enfermaron dos. Pues. Claro. Y yo creo que los vecinos fueron los que llamaron a la policía. Porque vieron que el señor estaba mal. Como que el señor tenía sus hábitos de salir a ciertas horas a, a pasear al perro y a regar las plantas. Uh -huh. Y de repente ya no el señor ya no salía. Entonces fue que avisaron a la policía. Y más que la gente también se pone alerta, pues los vecinos bien se echan como el rollo de donde ah, trabaja uno y cosas. Pero... Que acaba de venir de viaje. Uh -huh. Entonces, bien complicado. Las cámaras de vigilancia. <risa> no, y fíjense que mi, mi cuñado es médico y la primera recomendación que nos dio es ni reciban visitas ni anden visitando a nadie. Claro. Que este no es el momento ni para recibir ni para visitar. Andar, ajá. Exacto. Sí, sí, pero sí. como no todos tenemos esa precaución. No, no. No, imagínense lo que sucedió que, ahora. Que, o sea, todo eso estaba decir, repleto de gente. Vamos a ver este relajo. ¿Eh? Exactamente. 15 días, vamos a ver cuánta gente se contagió hoy. Primero ah, Dios. ¿Cuántos dólares ni les van a alcanzar? Ajá, pero primero Dios que donde estuvieron ellos no haya alguno contagiado. Pero fíjense que la calle está cerca del hospital, San Juan de Dios. Ahí en Santa Ana. Y, y ahí están los, y ahí están los. Ahí está Senade. O sea, Senade <risa> está una cuadra abajo del hospital San Juan de Dios. Y ahí están las, esas dos personas. No, las no, dos en el Santaña. En Saldaña. el Saldaña. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ahorita el no. de combate es el Saldaña. El del Saldaña. Uh -huh. El Saldaña. Pobre Pero Dios. suben videos donde, donde no hay ninguna enfermera ni, ni ningún doctor cuidándolo. Y no por eso están aislados. O sea, los médicos tienen miedo si no, si no hay equipo para cubrirse. Y el poco equipo que hay lo están cuidando cuando ya sea una epidemia más grave. Ay, no. No, y dice que es bien difícil porque este señor que acaba, que murió. Nadie dice que murió por el coronavirus. ¿Qué señor murió, sí. Norma? Aquí. Ya murió el señor de Aguachapán, ahí en el Saldaña. Lunos ¿Y el señor de los 90 no sé cuántos años? No sé qué edad tenía, pero era un señor ¿Qué? que venía con su hijo de Brasil. Y eran dueños de un tra unos transportes de Aguachapán. Entonces, al señor salió positivo en cuarentena. Entonces, lo movieron al Saldaña. Pero el señor le hablaba al nieto, que estaba en cuarentena también, y le decía de que allí no lo llegaban a ver, no le tomaban la temperatura, el señor quejándose. Y murió ayer. Ah, de veras. Pero no es el ancianito de 92 años. No sé qué edad tenía, fíjese. Pero sale pero, ahí que, que murió Pero ayer. yo creo que el, el señor de 92 años venía de Estados Unidos. Ajá, y pero era de Brasil. Brasil. Sí, creo que venía. Como que de ver una de esas como show de, de vehículos. Y ellos eran transportistas. Mm. Y ven, iba el, el nieto con el abuelo. Y solo a eso fueron. Solo a eso fueron. Bueno, si viene que un día le habló una señora que tenía de una farmacia aquí, preguntándole si tenía guante. Y entonces me dice, mire, disculpa que no le había contestado, pero estoy en cuarentena. Y eso, <risa> que yo venía de México con mi esposo. Entonces los dos señores del dueño de la farmacia están en cuarentena allá en, el, en San Salvador. Uh -huh. Pero digo yo, va a gente responsable, ¿verdad? Y Exacto. Pues sí. Ay, no, no si, los mandaron a, si los mandaron a casa se tenían que quedar ahí, pero mentira, la gente no se queda. No hacen nada. Ahí, ahí en el consultorio muchos me dicen que eso es mentira. Se de veras. La, sí, dicen que eso es mentira, que es ciencia ficción. Ay, no. 
mi papá tiene problema. Mi papá le dio dos derrames, tres derrames, le dio cuatro infartos y si de milagro de Dios está vivo. Sí. Entonces, él, sí, él quedó con insuficiencia cardíaca, con diabetes, insuficiencia pulmonar. Él anda en ciudad de Rueda y le digo, no se acerque a la puerta y lo tengo alejado de la puerta. Y me dice, señor, ¿y por qué no saca a su papá como antes? Y le expliqué. Me dice, eso es mentira, si no pasa nada, solo por asustarlo a uno. Ay. Así, bien tranquilo el señor. Sí. La gente mucha no cree. Sí, y ese es el problema, pues. Sí. Y otro señor con factor de riesgo por la edad. Exacto. Ay, no, niñas, pero cuídense mucho, Normita y Lice, también no, es que también es doctora. Bueno, todos pues y todas, pero de repente, pues sí. Pero si no pueden salir de la casa, mejor. No, yo sí, si yo no aquí estoy que salir aquí, sí. yo estuviera feliz aquí. Sí. Aquí sí traen las pupusas a domicilio. <risa> Ay, no, qué tremendo, no me las mencione. <risa> yo ya llevo no sé pero... cuántos días sin comer pupusas. Ay, no. <risa> Aquí ah, una mañana. Lo comerlo de la casa. Sí, sí no, claro. Pues, sí. Porque no sabe cómo le pasa. Exactamente. No, si ahorita, bueno, ni pan, pues ya, o sea, ni eso. No. Sí. sí. Bueno, de niña, sí, nombre de Dios, de verdad que sí. Anyway, bueno, los dejo trabajar. Voy a ir a ver a los otros niños. Gracias, Tito. A Ay, usted, sí. Normita y Lizzy, cuídense mucho. Usted también. Gracias, usted igual. Hi, guys. David and Ramos, you finished? Uh, yes. Yes, I, we finished. All right. Can you just tell me some of the examples that you guys made? Oh, you have them? Okay, the example with yeah. af after, mm -hmm. before, by the time, or, right. or mm -hmm. which? Whichever one you want. Okay. Uh, Jose Ramos. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ramos, your name is Jose. Yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I'm sorry. I always call you Ramos because that's what I see on the screen. <laughs> Yes, because there is uh, another Jose. I when know. you say Jose, I... <laughs> uh, I know, I know. Yes. <laughs> All right, uh -huh. I, so tell me your okay, example. Uh, okay, uh, as, as soon as I went to, I, I had gone to sleep, as soon as I, I went to fell sleep. asleep. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, uh, all right. Okay, very good. Another example? Uh, me, me yeah. teacher, with, yes. with after. After and before, okay. Okay, uh, after, uh, after I had, <laughs> after I had finished uh, the high school, mm -hmm. I went to university. Very good, nice, yes, all right. Okay. Very, very good, okay. Jose. The last one, Jose, tell me one more. Okay, with after. Sure, okay. After I, I had cooked, after I had cooked the dinner, I joined to the class. Okay, I joined the class. All right, okay. Very good. Good, guys. Very good. Good job. I'm going to check one more group and then we're coming back, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Hi, Jose. Hi, Walter. Hi, teacher. Let's see the sentences, please. Okay. Let's go, teacher. <laughs> after I had finished a study, I, after I had finished a study, I ate a sandwich. Mmm, delicious. After I had arrived home, I took a shower. After I had drove, oh, was the past participle of drive? Drove is simple past. Drove simple past. Driven. 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 Yes. After I had driven too much, I stretched my legs. Very good. After I had read a couple of books, I took off my glasses. Off is double F. I took off my glasses. 
Double Oof. F. Right, yes. Okay. All right. Very good. And good job. And this one's by the time I went to work, I had drunk coffee. As soon as I had drunk a cup of coffee, I went to work. By the time I arrived to the beach, I had. I had you don't finish uh, already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, All right. I had uh, drunk a, a beer. Oh, come on, Walter. <laughs> don't believe you. That sentence is for him. <laughs> but he's not today, so that's okay. Okay. All right, very good, good job, good. All right, we're coming back like almost in a couple of seconds. Oh no, all right. Hold okay, on. thank you teacher. Thank you. Hi, Anna. Hi. <laughs> Are you alone, Anna? <laughs> Noemi, Noemi has, has, no, how? <laughs> Noemi has, has problem oh. with her comfort. Okay. Yes. Oh, all right. Okay. But she's here now. No, are you here? Yes. Uh, we we wrote uh, one sentence only okay. in the chat. Oh, okay. Okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. That's okay. We're going to go back right now. Okay. okay. So, um, All right, hi guys. Is everybody with me now? Yes. Yes. Hi. All right, very good. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Rocio, I'm tell me. Sorry. Tell me one of your sentences, Rocio, please. Okay. As soon as whatever, whatever. Yeah, whichever. That's okay. Whichever uh, one. Uh, as soon as we have got the snacks, we uh -huh. watch the movie. We watched the movie. All right, very good. Adriana, tell me one more sentence, please. Okay. Before I have taken a shower, uh -huh. I make exercise. Oh, okay, very good. Uh, let me see. And uh, Elizabeth, can you tell us one sentence, please? Nelly, are you there? Or Mary, you can tell me one of your sentences also. Uh, as soon as I had finished the work, I went to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> very good. All right, very inspiring. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, guys, I'm going to. Um, I know you're very busy and everything, but just in case you have a little free time, eh, I'm gonna give you. Um, I'm gonna show you this. Just give me a second here. I don't know what's happening with my screen today. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this that I wanted you to do. Try to, can you take a picture? Just kind of like, in case you have time, you may do it. This is just for you to practice. This was exercise from last class, which we were talking about past simple or past, and past continuous. So what I want you to do, please take a picture of this. Igual lo voy a mandar al grupo, okay? Uh, it's not an obligation for you to do it. Remember that what is an obligation is the platform. Esto es como extra, in case you have time to do it, okay? So please take a picture. I think there are, um, let's leave it at nine sentences. Take a picture or a screenshot, and then you can work on it later if you have time. Pero primero es la plataforma, esto es extra. Okay. Okay. All right, finished? Yes. Yes. Not right. yes. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Going, yeah. Take a I'm picture right to... now. Okay. If if you have, I mean, if you finish doing it, or if you do it, then you can send it to me so we can, I can check it for you. Okay. Okay. All right. So okay. tomorrow we're gonna uh, study the last topic of the platform from section four, and then. Wednesday, we're going to talk about um, 
Tomorrow we're going to see the last topic of section four, beginning of section five, and then Wednesday we see the, the rest of section five as well as on Thursday, and we're pretty much done, okay? So we have three more classes, and then we, as I said at the beginning, I am not sure if we're going to continue right after uh, Semana Santa, or if we have to wait all the way until everything gets normal, okay? I really don't know that yet, pero supongo que nos van a hacer saber, tanto a mí como a ustedes, si en caso saben antes, me cuentan. <laughs> all right? Pero igual, es de estar pendiente del WhatsApp y del correo para ver qué dicen eh, los compañeros, cómo va a ser, si vamos a seguir o vamos a tener una pausa, ¿ok? okay. Pero igual, mis niños, hay que terminar la plataforma este viernes, ¿ok? Okay. All right, guys, thank you very much for being in class today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please, 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 si no tienen que ir a trabajar y los que tienen que ir a trabajar, Tengan cuidado, lávense las manos y tengan, tomen todas las precauciones que sean necesarias. All right? Okay. Good night, teacher. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.